Italy always needs, when you have an ideology, don't, did you see, for example, that American liberal film, it's not a great film, but it makes a nice point about this, with Tom Cruise, Demi Moore, and Jack Nicholson, a few good men. There, it deals with the same topic, that's nice. The topic of the film is code red, which is an unwritten military rule that you can beat a soldier who doesn't behave in a solidary way. But it's a rule which everyone follows, but nobody admits publicly. So that's my first lesson on ideology. Don't focus on what is explicitly declared to be the ruling principle, the law, the value. Include the way you are supposed to violate the rule. And this is where things get really interesting. Did you notice that the rules that we obey and which mark our belonging to a certain group, like if you know the rules you are in, are always complex rules. In what sense complex? Not simply that there are many, but like you know a rule, but then if somebody tells you this is our rule, you know there is always then an ambiguity. Am I really supposed to follow this rule or am I supposed to violate this rule? If I'm supposed to violate this rule, how? This is why all those instructions, you know, when people still followed manners. Today they do it less and less. You had all these uh, schools which taught ordinary lower class people how to behave in higher circles. But they always fail. When you met the really rich, you was all, you, it was always, the effect was always you are an idiot. Why? <coughs> you were taught the rules, but you were not taught how to violate the rules. And here things become interesting because it's not only the violation in the negative sense that the rule prohibits something and then you are secretly called to violate it. Like this is the case with most sexual rules. When the father tells you beware of bad women, it means do we prove that you are a man but discreetly or whatever and so on. What I find much more interesting are rules which allow you something but on con which give you a freedom on condition that you don't use that freedom. <laughs> that would be on condition that, or they give you a freedom of choice on condition that you make the right choice. <laughs> that would be, no? And, uh, here, we don't have time to go with, uh, there are numerous wonderful examples. This is for me ideology at its most elementary, starting with everyday life practices. For example, take apology. Is she popular here, the big West Coast feminist from the United States, Judith Butler? I have very ambiguous relationship with her. Theoretically, we are in polemics. Personally, I have relatively good relations with her. So once I was, in my vulgar style, rude with her. And then I saw she's hurt, so later I called her and apologized. And she told me, really, Slavoj, I know how you are, that you didn't mean it really. No, you owe me no apology. Everything is okay. But you see the paradox. She was able to say you don't need to apologize.